Chapter 10 Shapes and Patterns Lines Straight and Curved Lines Do you know about straight and curved lines? Yes, let me show you some examples. The edges of the postcard represents straight lines. The edge of the frock represents a curved line. Okay, now I will explain it by using a string. When we hold the string tight, it represents a straight line. And when we hold it loose, it represents a curved line. We can draw a straight line by using a ruler. Plain figures Figures which have only length and breadth are called plain figures. For example, square, rectangle, triangle, circle and oval are the examples of plain figures. Let's learn about the sides and corners. A square has four equal sides and corners. A rectangle also has four sides and corners, but it has only opposite sides equal. A triangle has three sides and three corners. A circle has no sides and no corners. It goes round and round. An oval looks like an egg. It also goes round and round and has no sides and no corners. Solid figures Figures having three dimensions, length, breadth and heights are called solid figures. Let me show you some solid figures. This is a cube. It has six faces, twelve edges and eight corners. All the faces of a cube are in a shape of a square. This is a cuboid. It also has six faces, twelve edges and eight corners. All the faces of a cuboid are in the shape of a rectangle. This is a sphere. It has only one curved face. It has no edges and no corners. Look at this. It is a cylinder. It has three faces. One is curved and the other two are straight and two edges. There are no corners in a cylinder. This is a cone. It has two faces. One is curved and the other is straight. One edge and one corner. Patterns There are many patterns around us. Let's have a look at them. Patterns in window grills. Patterns in tiles. Patterns in vegetables. Patterns by using fallen leaves. Patterns with thumb prints. Patterns in geometry. Patterns in numbers.